Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday before the Thursday, which is ECB. Today's a bit of a special day for those of us who have been in the market for a long time, and I guess a special day for a lot of people uh, who are American, and perhaps a lot of people around the world, uh, September 11th today. So we're going to open today's video with a um, just a moment to uh, remember the guys that we lost in those towers. We lost a couple of uh, a couple of friends. One friend, good friend in particular, the botanist um, guy that I started the business with back in 1992. Um, great guy, heart of gold. We're just going to take a little moment here uh, and make a little tribute to Jim with a quick moment of silence uh, just to give thought and to give thanks for the time we spent with him and uh, hope his family as well and continues to thrive uh, even without him. So here we go. Thanks for uh, allowing me to do that for an old friend um, who died in a uh, in a terrible in a terrible terrible way. Uh, anyway, moving on, uh, let's quickly talk about what happened overnight here. China sort of sweetened the deal. Talked about buying American goods. Uh, we had a bit of risk on. Spoos went up to 29.87. Now they're rolling back a little bit. We're a little bit skeptical um, of how much more of this positive trade news can be priced into this market. Uh, but we don't have a real dog in this fight here. We still are selling high ones in Spoos uh, between 29.98 and 3,000. John Bolton also uh, left his post at the uh, NSA. Uh, we are very happy about that. Don't need any more warmongers in our government. So he's out of there, which I think is great. Um, and dollar yen broke higher overnight. Basically at the close there through 50. Uh, so let's, uh, let's look at that first of all, first and foremost. We had that little double top at 50. Uh, we mucked around between 50 and 53 just at the close, 4 p.m. New York time. Now we're just kind of trucking higher, and this is basically because 10-year uh, yields are uh, moving higher quite aggressively. If you look at the uh, daily on dollar yen, first resistance doesn't come into around 108.40 so we got some room to run here uh, you want to hold your dollar yen longs uh, and trade from the long side slowly but surely 
the market is changing its mentality going into tomorrow. Uh, and people are thinking that uh, the ECB is going to be a little bit more hawkish, uh, and they're not going to roll out the big bazooka, uh, is the term everyone's using. So if that is true, U.S. rates will go higher in sympathy, and dollar yen will continue higher. Euro yen will go higher, uh, which will also drag dollar yen higher. Um, so dollar yen longs look pretty steady. If you go to its uh, sort of dollar-based cousin, dollar Swiss, we have this double top up here at 30. Uh, we all know how difficult dollar Swiss is to trade. How is dollar Swiss going to go higher if euros bid? Euro Swiss has to go through the through the roof. Uh, this could happen, but it just makes it very tricky. We talked about this yesterday. If this was any other pair, we would get bullish through 30 in dollar Swiss. But um, it is dollar Swiss, so all I can say is good luck with that. Uh, we'll probably just be spectators on this uh, on this currency pair today. We have no real data today to speak of. We've got uh, crude oil supplies. Crude turned pretty hard yesterday, up at 58.76, and then down to 57.30. Um, this now is a little bit of a double top as well. We have this 84 high here, end of July. And now we have the 76 high here today yesterday uh, the September high interesting here uh, we don't really know what to do with it we're gonna wait to sell crude up at 60 bucks uh, that's sort of our plan of attack with crude let's go to fixed income you can see this is the 10 year this is the future uh, we're trading the deck ZNZ um, so technically this isn't relevant because this contract here is the SEP this is the deck you kind of just have to look at the yield uh, which is now 172 so we were at 150 143 was the low now we're at 172 there's going to be some resistance at 179 but then once we're through that we get right back up to 195 which there'll be very strong resistance course short ZN still seems to be the way this looks like it wants to exaggerate a bit, um, which makes perfect sense as the move down from two to one and a half was one of the greatest exaggerations we'd seen in a while. So core short fixed income ZN and also uh, Boons. Uh, here's the yield in Boons. We started down here at minus 74. Now we're at minus 54 target is minus 40 so we have another 14 or 15 basis points to travel um, before we see any meaningful resistance or meaningful support I would say to our resistance and the yield support in the contract um, just as a quick reminder we don't you can't trade the yield this is not a tradable product here this is just representation of the yield the contract FGBL also moved to deck uh, so we really have just basically four bars here so the technicals on the contract don't make a lot of sense which is why we look at the technicals on the yield anyway uh, let's go to Euro Norway inflation missed yesterday up to 992 uh, we like this as a break trade now, 984. I don't know what's going to drive this. Obviously, if the European Central Bank is super dovish, Euro Norway will go left a bit. Um, but this is now uh, a break trade, 984 in Euro Norway. Sterling Swiss and Euro Sterling, same same type of deal. You, you know, you want to reduce your position size and get ready to buy on any bad news so you're buying sterling Swiss you're selling euro sterling on bad sterling news so moves back up to 90 20 between 90 20 and 90 50 uh, you want to get short euro sterling euro dollar 
I don't know what to do with it today, day before ECB. This is one of the bigger ECB meetings that we've, the anticipation is, is palpable. There's confusion as to what is going to happen. So when decisions are made, um, Euro and all of its proxies are going to move. Uh, today I don't expect much uh, unless there's some news bombs, but um, going to move tomorrow. So let's get ready. Let's get ready for this. We'll we'll do some more of this tomorrow. But these are some of the lines that are going to be drawn out there. This is an obvious one that a lot of people will have drawn. So up through uh, 111.30 is going to be crazy town. Obviously, the range low 109.28 uh, will be crazy town, but really, uh, one, one, 109.70 is going to be the pivot on the downside. So, nothing to do in, in, in Euro dollar today, but just want to start thinking about it and what we're going to do tomorrow. Main focus today is fixed income and dollar yen. You want to be long dollar yen. watching fixed income and being core long dollar yen and then if you're brave have a look at this dollar swiss 99.30 would be important all right guys good luck out there make some dough um and uh, we'll see you tomorrow ciao